let us quickly see example for delayed durability. First, we will create a database and right after that, we will change delayed durability setting to allowed. Next, we will create a table in the same database and now we will create two stored procedures. First is a normal stored procedure which will insert data in dummy table. Here, delayed durability is off. The next row procedure which we will create will have same logic with delayed durability on. Now let's create these two procedures. Remember at the end of the store procedure we are printing time it took to execute. Next we'll execute both of these store procedure together. After a while both of these will return us result. The first store procedure took 13 second and second store procedure took only one second as it has enabled delayed durability. Remember to read all the blog posts around delayed durability on my blog before you enable this feature. It's quite possible if you do not understand the logic properly there may be a data loss. <music>